43-year-old Philippe May is one of the world's fastest men on skis, a two-time world champion and a 12-time Swiss champion in speed skiing. He is one of only five men to have ever gone faster than 250 kilometers per hour or 156 miles per hour downhill on the slopes. Also a competitive cyclist, he traveled from his native Switzerland to San Diego to compete in the 2014 Race Across America, a grueling bike ride from coast to coast. But on the way, he started feeling weak and lightheaded. His wife, Tracy, picked him up from the airport and took him straight to Scripps Green Hospital in La Jolla. It became a life-changing turn of events. So I'm very lucky that um, I'm still alive. And instead of going to the, to the start line, uh, I end up in the emergency room. After numerous tests, Philippe learned from Scripps doctors that he had a progressive heart condition that may run in his family. It's called cardiomyopathy, or arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, ARVD. Philippe's father died of a heart attack decades ago at the age of 39, and his uncle died just two days afterwards. He was in his early 40s. It's a genetic abnormality that occurs uh, can be familial, meaning genetic, in 50 to 80 percent of cases, and unfortunately the first sign for a lot of people with this disorder is a cardiac arrest, that they don't survive. But Philippe May would survive. Scripps cardiologist Dr. John Rogers implanted a defibrillator in Philippe's chest, which monitors and prevents his heart from stopping suddenly. Not only were Scripps doctors able to save him and preserve his life, they also helped him preserve his way of life. In fact, Philippe's flying down the slopes doing what he does best, recently becoming the 2015 Swiss speed skiing champion again. Philippe and his wife are grateful to the doctors and staff at Scripps for their top-notch care and expertise, which has given them a second chance. To be so um, warmly taken care of, it's a pretty amazing uh, experience. What do we see forward? We see life, because now we have a chance at life together, whereas it could have been cut short, really short, um, and that would have been tragic. Philippe's next goal? He's expected to be at the starting line of the Race Across America for the nearly 3,000 mile journey in June of this year. To cross the U.S. Uh, with, uh, with uh, the device in my body will be uh, an encouragement for all these young kids that have that to see that uh, you can set up goals even with uh, something like that in your body. To say thanks, Philippe and his team want to raise at least $25,000 to name an exam room honoring Dr. Rogers in the Scripps Prebus Cardiovascular Institute in La Jolla, a state-of-the-art heart hospital that provides comprehensive cardiovascular care. It's ranked number one in San Diego County, and it's in the top 20 in the United States. They want to express their gratitude for saving Philippe's life and allowing him to live the only way he knows how full speed ahead. If you're inspired by Philippe's story, please make a donation to Scripps Health. Let's help Philippe reach his goal.